I am making a custom order today for a beautiful bride. This might be one of my favorite soaps that I have ever made because there are no restrictions, just the budget. I still ask for approval anyways before I proceeded in making them. I will also share towards the end of the video the things that I have learned and tips that will make it easier if any one of you plans on making this in the future. Hope you enjoy the video! For this soap, I made 3 batches over the last 3 days prior to filming the final assembly. I wanted all my embeds to be nice and firm before I put them all together and make one cohesive masterpiece. I can't decide which one I like better, so I used both tart and cupcake molds for my base. I think it will be fun for her bridal party to have options. For my succulents, initially I used two shades of green. I was hoping to get them to look like the real thing. I was a bit nervous about whether or not I needed to add another shade of green to make it look more three-dimensional. As I unmolded them, as you can see, this is a little bit too plain for my liking. So what I did was I mixed some isopropyl alcohol with red mica and I painted it on the cactus so at least to give it a little bit of vibrancy. really happy with this one it looks a bit more realistic than the first one the transition of colors blended well look at that beauty this plant is from my garden it was one of my inspiration which you'll see shortly these are all the succulents that I made and I love how it turned out and I also made some pebbles which I hope looks realistic enough to trick your eyes I arrange all my embeds as to how I want them to look in my final product before I glue them on with my soap batter. I wanted all my embeds ready in case my batter sets up too quickly. I experimented with the consistency of my soap glue. This is about thin to medium trace. As I put my embeds, the batter flows seamlessly under the crevices like I hoped for. The only downside is it is slipping and it's staying in place. You will see shortly that I had to push and hold it in place until it settles a bit. This is my favorite consistency. It's thick and held my embeds in place. And the batter didn't lose out as I put my pebbles on. It was actually less effort and faster. If you're liking my video so far, I would really, really appreciate it if you just give me a thumbs up and please hit that subscribe button. Thank you. from this experience. First, you have to make all your embeds ahead of time. Your base should be completely solid because the succulents and pebbles are too heavy. The last thing that we want is our base collapsing. Second, I would make more smaller pebbles than the bigger ones because you can easily drop them to cover up small empty spaces without compromising your design. Third, I would make my batter same color as my pebbles. In case there's an overflow, it won't be too obvious. And lastly, a thicker trace works better in sticking your embeds in place and it doesn't lose out. The only downside is it might set up quickly depending on your fragrance oil. I initially thought that this will be an easy project as long as I have everything set up and ready to go. The biggest challenge for me was placing all the pebbles in place. It's like a puzzle that you have to strategize to prevent empty spaces and make one cohesive piece of work. Overall, I was happy with the outcome. I hope the bride will be delighted too. I wanted to ask everyone if I sell this on my online store, will you purchase it? 
Please let me know in the comment section below. I would love to hear your feedback. Thank you. Have a great day.